Uh, excuse me, I'm the volunteer of this session. I think our chairperson just dropped out of this session. Please give us one or two minutes, uh, waiting for her to come back. And please continue uh, our Q and A session. If you have, if you have, if you have any questions, uh, you can just ask the the presenter. Any question? Okay, I see a question in chat for me. Um, thanks for, I'm wondering why DPZ should compare compared to the baseline. Oh, um, um, because we are uh, based on the user's original uh, uh, non-sensitive attributes, uh, we uh, learn to, uh, learn to uh, latent representations. One is sensitive latent representation, and the other one is non uh, non-sensitive latent representation. Um, users non-sensitive latent representation is used for the downstream task. Um, so when we learn the non uh, non-sensitive latent representations, we minimize the, minimize the, the prediction error. So. Uh, the second objective function we mentioned is the is a key to guaranteeing classification accuracy. Um, does I answer your question? Thank you. Sorry, my internet con I think it was me. My internet connection disappeared suddenly, so sorry. You are here, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. That's okay, yeah. please continue. Okay, sorry, it happens what you never think could happen. So the internet connection was down, so I had to use my mobile phone to reconnect. Sorry for, for disappearing, so sorry. Uh, sorry, so I guess you finished your presentation, <laughs> see he? And we do have some time for questions so from the audience uh, there is some question uh, that maybe already answered i'm not sure what you did why i was disconnected so if there are more questions uh, for the three papers please be, be free to ask in the chat or here otherwise i can proceed with my questions also the authors of oh, okay question to Ui. From Sharon, do you want to, to tell this? You can open your microphone, Sharon. Yeah, yeah. I answered the first question. And the second question is, is it your prediction model using the sensitive? Um, no, we don't use the sensitive uh, retina representation for uh, predictors. And during training, do you assume that all users provide uh, sensitive data? And Yes, in training data, all users have the sensitive data, but we only uh, um, select uh, like 30% uh, um, users. We know the this part, uh, the sensitive uh, information of this part of user. Well, how to select a group of uh, group uh, who uh, provide the sensitive information? Uh, we only randomly select a part of users, right? Uh -huh. Okay, assume we know their sensitive attributes, and the rest we don't know their sensitive attributes. Ah, uh, yeah, because I have this question because uh, in your introduction you mentioned that uh, women do do not like to share their age, so I I don't think yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't see, you can raise your hand, okay. I just have a curiosity that is for Ui. Uh, actually can apply also to Sharon. So my curiosity is you assume there is uh, one sensitive attribute. So what happened uh, if you have two? 
sensitive or two or more multiple sensitive attributes? Do you think your framework need to? Yeah, this is a good. Yeah, what to do in this case? Yeah, this is a good question. If we have multiple multiple sensitive attributes, right? um, yes, in our paper we only consider one sensitive attribute. Okay. Um, I, I also have a curiosity for uh, Z E E Z E. Um, maybe I don't know if I missed something in your presentation because as you see my connection sometimes dropped. Uh, okay. I was just curious uh, uh, how you decide which is the portion of the face. So it's already predefined that is the eye, the nose, the mouth, or you have some dimension that you need to to, des to decide which is the part. Oh yeah, so I'm using the landmark. So, which is uh, a tool that can segment the faces uh, by like 32 or 64 points. And uh, so if we want to segment eyes and we can select some specific points and we can segment the eye out of the face. So that means we know which part is face, which part is nose. So we don't need to uh, use any model to detect it. Yeah. Okay, so it's already predefined what is the eye, so it's, the, it's already predefined, so it's, it's not... Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can just do uh, it, yeah. Okay, thank you. Do we have more questions? Yeah, I have a question about the ZE call. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, do you, did you assume that your, uh, the parts of a uh, face, uh, 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 the given part of face are balanced. So the portion of eye and nose and mouth are uh, similar or you, uh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. So uh, I didn't uh, check it in detail, but I think it, it is, won't be extremely imbalanced because in our experiment actually uh, randomly uh, sample the partial faces to simulate the action of social media users. Yeah, but that's a good question. That's uh, actually, okay. I think a potential issue for this. If the, yeah. uh, if the poll is extremely imbalanced, uh, then uh, it can be a problem to ensemble the faces. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you very much. Do we have more comments, curiosity? Don't be shy, questions, discussions. Take the opportunity to have the others here. Okay, so if there are no other questions, maybe we can conclude the session here. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for the authors to submit a paper, first of you, having the paper accepted and to be here to present their papers. So thank you for your good presentation. I really liked your three papers, very interesting. And um, so thank you very much. And a reminder that it will be the last session of Work for Good. It will be 4.45 uh, on Zoom. I hope that my internet will restore for that, <laughs> for that time. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Leo, for the assistance. Have a good night in Hong Kong. <laughs> it's very late for you. Thank you for assisting us. You're welcome.